the archaic's data is all about telling the truth, that means I have to share the darkness as well as the light. And I believe that's why there's so many people have responded to my channel so much because I have so many videos that are also about the positive nature of this dual reality we live in. And the golden rule absolutely applies. I mean, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. There is no greater spiritual law. I mean, it's uh, the, the very act of doing something for somebody else is entirely spiritual and it, it creates a feedback loop. You ex there's an exchange of information. Every act of kindness, there's an exchange of information. You may not see it, but just like the old concept of sin debt, about when you do something bad, there is a debt, a sin debt that attaches to that, and it weighs down your soul until that is until that is taken care of. That exact same con concept is equally true on the obverse. Every kind deed that you do to somebody, there's an exchange of information. You borrow from their informed field the good that you instilled. This is all about fields now. You regard yourself as an avatar, and some of you are, are basically regarding yourself as a spirit inside of an avatar. But when it really boils down to is every single one of us is an informed field. That informed field is a divine personality. And whatever what whatever what a personality does for another personality, there's an exchange of information where it's mutually beneficial. You don't do it for that reason, but you can't stop it either. This is this is how we grow. This is why so many people come in resonance with somebody who's always happy, always, always jovial in their presence. They begin vibrating on that frequency. Even though you're not physically touching, there's an exchange of information. Both both parties are 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 benefiting. The exact same thing applies to uh your attitude, whatever attitude, you don't have to be in somebody's physical presence. Your attitude towards somebody else exchanges information between informed fields. So many of these spiritual tenets that we find coming out of the mouth of Jesus, they're absolutely true when you reinterpret them through the sieve of the simulacrum that we are spirits and not actual bodies. Much of those teachings were in parables and parables Aren't, aren't direct information. That's why they're in a parable form. A parable is an image of truth. It's not the truth. Just like humans are an image of God, but we're not God. So the greatest truths are always con con conveyed through artificiality. That's because we live in an artificial world. Will these dictates remain true on the outside of the construct? I doubt it because things, truth is more direct out there. But in here, we live inside of a deception, in a deceptive medium. The deceit is everywhere. Negative default programming runs the world. It is so much easier to be negative about a new situation than it is to be positive. I don't believe it's that way on the outside of the construct, but this spiritual law about the exchange of information, it runs true with, with many things. Let me give you an example. Uh, if I was to go out of my way to help somebody that I know that really needed, that really needed that help, and I gave that help to them, I may have given more assistance than, than was actually needed. But spiritually, that, that energy, which was on that frequency, is going to get dispersed where it needs to go. I don't have a say-so where that energy is discharged. It wasn't all needed to that one individual. That one individual was edified, was lifted up, spiritually empowered, went on their own way and did great things and, did, and lived their life. But I sent an excess that I did, wasn't aware that I was sending too much help. And when I did that, other people, other people were blessed. This happens all the time. And we don't even know that many of the good things that come in our life, they come from when somebody else further away who didn't even know us or had contact with us in this hologram did something kind for somebody else, but it was overkill. And a lot of that bleeds over because frequency will always find its own. And this exchange of information is what physicists are finding now that's happening between everything from trees and roots and rocks and insects. This, this field that we're in is electrodynamic. And in a hologram, information is never lost. 
and it can always be found, it can always be recalled. This means that when we do great things for other people, that memory in nature is there forever. It's a part of the informed field. It's what makes you who you are. It's the reason why animals react to you the way they do, but they don't react to this other person that way. They sense in you something they don't sense in this other individual. Animals can read the field far better than we can. It's nothing that they see, smell, hear, or touch. Animals are far more in tune with the field than we are. So 